Perkin Lee, a large and powerful Category One. This is Typhoon Documentaries. Lee had been a phenomenal storm traversing through the central West Atlantic, though have lost its major hurricane intensity recently. Latest position at 8 a.m. EDT on September 14, or 12 p.m. UTC, is 29.8 degrees north, 68.2 degrees west. At the same time, it is equipped with maximum sustainments of 8 knots, or equivalent to 150 kilometers per hour, weakening into a high-end category 1. Not surprisingly, CIMSS ADT analyst is much lower than official estimates, probably due to its lack of convection organization to the southwest, showing sustainments of 70 knots, or 130 km per hour currently. IR imagery still remains impressive, with large convective bands developing to the north and to the east, with persistent convection situated to the northwest, though the southwestern portion shows lack of convection and the structure gradually degrades. Environmental conditions start to be less favorable for the storm to maintain its intensity. Latest shear analysis shows that moderate southwesterly shear has started to impact the system's northern portion, and shall also increase significantly tomorrow. Sea surface temperature has also dropped as it shall track polar, reaching 27 to 28 degrees by now. As the storm is posing a threat to the state of Maine and parts of Canada, a hurricane washes place from Stonington. Maine to the U.S.-Canada border, from the U.S.-Canada border to Port Lepro in New Brunswick, and portions of Nova Scotia from Digby to Medway Harbor. A tropical storm warning is placed in Bermuda as its northeast radius is touching the island. The majority of the coastline of the state of Maine and the southeastern coast of Canada is also placed under a tropical storm watch. Looking at preliminary wind probabilities, it shows that Bermuda shall continue to be experiencing short storm force wind impacts, the state of Maine having a rather high chance to be under the effect of Lee's large wind radius. The wind shall arrive at the coast on early Saturday at its most reasonable pace as well. Furthermore, a storm surge watch is also in effect for Cape Cod Bay and Nantucket. These locations are expected to experience storm surge varying from 2 to 4 feet. With the remaining coastline of Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine is expected to have surge peaking to 3 feet. Swells generated by the hurricane shall continue to affect the Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and etc. They are starting to reach the eastern coast of the US and Canada too. In terms of rainfall, the storm is expected to produce heavy rainfall along the coast, with parts expecting to have a downpour of up to 6 inches. And the remaining northeastern US and Canada having a rainfall varying from 1 to 4 inches as well. Forecasters are in tight agreement for storm continuing to track polar and make landfall near the US Canada border. Yet it's uncertain with the final intensity where the storm makes contact with the land. NHC's forecast currently state that the storm shall make landfall as a low end hurricane or high end tropical storm and shall transverse into an extra tropical cyclone in the near future. Significant impacts are possible and likely to occur. Please consult products from your local weather office or seek official info from the National Hurricane Center.